Hi, let's learn how to create custom frame in Canva. Here I am on the home page of Canva. Let me create a blank presentation. Go to presentations and here I have the option to go to create blank. That opens up a new tab. Let me show you what a frame does. For that, let us go to elements. And here in elements, when you go down, you would notice that there are these frames available here. And what a frame does is, it gives a frame literally to place a picture. For example, I have this frame in a nice shape like this. Let me place this on the canvas. Let me extend the size. Now, if I want to replace this picture of landscape with my own photo, all I need to do is to go to photos and look for any type of photo. Maybe I can go to new year and see the various options available here. I can just pick the photo and then place it on the frame and you can see that there is this purple colored outline given for the frame. Now I leave my cursor and now my picture is now in the shape of the frame that I selected. Now if I want to replace this with another picture, all I need to do is to pick up the picture and then place it when I see that purple colored outline and when I leave my cursor, I see a different photo of the same frame shape. These frames are extremely useful to create beautiful designs. Where do you find the frames? Once again, let us go to elements and you will see the frames here. If you want to see all the frames you have available in Canva, you just need to click on see all and you can see that there are frames of different sizes, different shapes, and you can use any of these frames and replace them with your photos. While all this is good, there is only a certain number of frames that you can find in Canva. Now, what if you want to create your own custom frame so you can fill that frame with any photo of your choice. That is what we are going to learn today in this video. The first thing I want to do is, of course, go to PowerPoint because that is where most of my work is done. I can create a custom shape. For example, I can pick up a shape like this and then I can pick up another shape like this. It doesn't really matter what shape it is. I'm just showing you the basic principle. And let me take another shape like this and I've created some kind of a messy shape. Now, if I want to create a frame of this shape, first I need to select everything, go to shape format, go to merge shapes and say shape union. Now you can see that this is the outline for the shape. I can always replace this with any photo of my choice in Canva using the procedure I'm going to show you. Now, the next step is to fill this shape with photo. Now, it doesn't really matter what photo it is because we are going to delete it anyway. So let us select this, right click, go to format shape and here we have fill. Let us fill this with a picture, go to insert and it could be any photo. So go to stock images and let us randomly pick this one and insert. It doesn't really matter. Then let me go to shape outline and say no outline. Now I'm going to save this page as a PDF file. How do we do that? You go to file. Go to save as, you can choose the location. Here I'm choosing desktop. Here in the file type, you need to go here and choose PDF. Can you see here? This is the fourth option available. And let us give this some name. It doesn't really matter. I'm calling it random and let us say save. Now let us go back to Canva. Let me close this. We don't really need that anymore. You click on create a design button in the home page of Canva. Then go all the way down and say import file and then choose the PDF file that you have just created. In this case, it is random and say open. Here you can see that Canva is importing your file. If you want to view it, you can do so. If not, you will find that in the recent designs option. Here it is. Let me click on it and you can open that particular file. Now you can see here that this is actually a frame. All you need to do is you select this and then just delete it and you would notice that we have this landscape image which means that this is a frame that you've just created. If I want to fill this with a photo of my choice, I go to photos, pick any photo and then place it when you see a purple colored outline and there it is. So that is how you create custom frame using any shape that you draw inside of PowerPoint. Now we can take this idea to the next level by using some SVG images that are available for free. Let me show you what I mean by that. Let me close this. Let us go to pixabay.com. Here I have seen the image of a woman, a silhouette of a woman, and I want to fill this shape 
with photo and make this a custom frame. How do we do that? First, let us go to free download. I want to download vector graphic. So SVG format, let us say download. You would see that I have this downloaded. Let me go to show in folder, right click on this, copy and then paste it onto our PowerPoint slide. So this is a blank slide. I'm going to paste this over here. Now, the next step is to convert this into a shape. So you can right click and go to convert to shape option or you can also choose group, ungroup. Both of them do the same job. Let us go to convert to shape. Now we are going to fill this shape with an image of our choice. So select this, right click, go to format shape, fill, go to picture or texture fill, go to picture source, insert, go to stock images. I'm going to select this image and say insert. Now you can see that the shape is now filled with this image. Beautiful. Now I'm going to save this as a PDF file. Go to file, go to save as, go to desktop and say this is woman and the file type is PDF and you say save. Now go back to Canva, go to the home page, create a design, import file, go down and see woman and say open. Now Canva is importing your file. You can view it here or in recent designs. Yes, this is done. I'm going to click and open it. Now this, what you see here is a frame. You select it, delete it, job done. Of course, you can always give some feedback if you are in the mood, close it. Now let me fill this with an image of my choice. Let us have it as photo. So we want beach image photo. Now I'm going to maybe use this as the picture. So move your cursor over. You can see the purple outline, leave your cursor. Now this is used as a nice frame. Any other picture, select this purple outline, leave it and a beautiful outline. Can you see here? It is a game changer. Now you no longer need to be limited by the kind of frames that are available inside Canva. You can create your own custom frames and can have full control of your design process. Canva is a very powerful graphic design tool that allows non-designers to become good graphic designers. If you have not checked out Canva yet, I have a link in the description box below the video. You can click on the link and sign up for a free Canva account. And if you feel that it is a powerful tool, then you can sign up for Canva Pro account for free using the link in the description box below the video. It is an affiliate link. Want to know how to do some more interesting things with Canva? Take a look at this short playlist that I've created of my Canva tutorials. Click on the link and watch those videos. I'll see you in the next one.